It destroys families and ruins lives, but it's not illegal, and that's the problem. Tonight, KMIR 6 investigates a new drug teens are taking to get high. The DEA can't keep up with all the new synthetic drugs on the market. This one's called Ant. It's supposed to be a ladybug attractant, but its users describe the drug as over-the-counter over the crack cocaine. And though it started out on the East Coast, investigative reporter Rob Cobell uncovers it's now spreading across the country. K2, Purple Magic, Spice, Ivory Wave. Different names, different shapes and sizes. All designs do one thing, and that's get you high. And that high can be dangerous. Feel my heart rate. He says that he smoked some K2 and he thinks he might die. Hello. Another synthetic pot case. This one, deadly. We're at approximately 100 miles an hour. We're headed the wrong way on southbound I-43. We're headed northbound. Right now we are on the medium side. A 19-year-old killed after smoking the fake marijuana. The I-team has taken you along as we busted store owners for still selling it. I understand you're selling K2. Do you understand that that's against the law now? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know it's against the law, K2? You got it on the shelf right here. No idea. And showed you how Waukesha police took 25 grand worth of synthetic pot right off the city streets. MC's done. Now, the I team uncovering another dangerous synthetic drug. Already right here in Wisconsin. It's called Amped. Just take a look at this video. A violent, out of control teenager screaming at his mom. She says he's high on Amped. And although these substances are touted as being legal and safe, they are anything but. Amped is a white powdery substance being sold in small packages in stores and online. A recovering Amped addict says she used to snort it like cocaine. She claims while on it, she lost her mind. To want to actually physically kill someone, I've never been that way towards my mom. We've always been best friends. And she, she didn't know who I was and I didn't know who I was. But the rush kept her coming back for more. You do it, it's really, 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 really hyper, and then you want some more. And then you do it again, and you want some more. The package says it never lets you down. They need to stop. In a Skype interview, DEA Special Agent Robert Bell says shutting these companies down isn't easy because they're constantly changing the ingredients in an attempt to avoid federally banned substances. I'll just simply call them drug peddlers uh, are selling substances intended for human use. In an emergency meeting, the feds were able to add eight more substances to a growing list of those banned items, five from the synthetic pot category and three from the bath salt class. But that's eight out of many. And the ban came too late for one Wisconsin teen. May 2010, 19-year-old Charlie Davil toots his horn at a McQuanago cop who has a driver pulled over. A few minutes later, Davil would lead police on a high-speed chase right through Waukesha County. Investigators would later learn Davil, a recent Waukesha West grad, smoked K2 before the chase, a chase that turned deadly. Uh, we have an accident. Vehicle struck AM towing. Vehicle struck the AM towing. Detective Steve Peterson is with the Waukesha County Sheriff's Department. He is no stranger to these drugs. Personally, I think anything that, that uh, you could ingest uh, that's not uh, prescribed uh, by a professional uh, while uh, being a physician uh, that uh, has some altering effect on the mind is uh, very dangerous. And those dangers? Never more apparent than in this deadly crash. This twisted metal, fake pot, fake cocaine, still being sold with real consequences. We spoke to local police about the presence of Amped in the Coachella Valley, and the good news is that it is not a problem here. But that message comes with a warning, especially for parents with teenagers. Police encourage you to make sure that you're aware of these synthetic drugs and keep a close eye on your kids' behavior.